So hi guys, good day everyone. As you all know, my name is Ugu Kevin Chimaya, the CEO of Bista Technology. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to log in webmail in your mobile phone. I want to do this tutorial because uh, a lot of people have been asking me how can I log in webmail in their phone. Even some web developers have, they don't know how to log in webmail in their phone and they are finding it difficult even some clients too that is some customers that will come for me for me to uh, build websites for them they don't know how to log in webmail in their phone so first of all i'm going to be telling you the meaning of webmail first and how it works before i, I will now show you how to log in webmail in your phone so webmail is just like a company email you understand know, that that is being customized with your website server or website your website domain for example my the comp my company website is bistatech.com so instead of me getting and my name is Ubu Kevin Chimaya you understand so instead of me getting um a gmail like that like for example Ubu Kevin Chimaya at gmail.com I can customize it to my own company name which is Ubu Kevin Chimaya at bistatech.com so that instead of using Google Mail I'm now using Bista Tech Webmail that is at bistatech.com instead of at gmail.com. You understand? So, so if you have any type of website, you can get yourself a a webmail from there. Even if it is, if if your uh, your company is, uh, for example, let me say nairaagent.com, you can create as much as email as you want from the server. Uh -huh. Then you can create something like, for example, now in this my bistatech.com, I have an email which is, I have an email which is, um, I have an email which is CEO at bistatech.com or director at bistatech.com or info at bistatech.com or in fact many email. So today I'm going to be using one of the examples which is. Um, email that I created for one of my workers, a female worker. Her name is Goodness. So the name of the email is goodness at bistatech.com. So today I'm going to be using the email to teach you how you can log it in in your phone. So let's just get started. First of all, I'll go to where I, I first of all I'll go to where I uh, posted the the email. Then I'll copy it. I'll now go to my Google. So this is my notepad. So this is the goodness at this is the goodness at vistatech.com. So I, I'll highlight and copy it. Then minimize. Please avoid any noise you're hearing from the background. I'm not in a cool environment. So I'll go to my uh, Gmail. This is my Gmail app. You understand? So on a very quick one, for me to log it in in my a, a gmail app what i will need to do is i'll just click on this three toggle line on top this three toggle button the first three toggle line on top so i'll just click on it then scroll down you understand i'll scroll down then i'll see settings that is second to the last i'll see settings so i'll just click on settings then on a very quick one i'll scroll up you will see all the emails that have been logged in your phone you understand these are the emails that are, that are logged in my phone so i will just look at the down part i'll see where they wrote add account so i'll just click on add account so clicking on add account instead of choosing google because i'm not logging in google mail or yahoo mail or what i'm logging is my own personal web mail so what i'm going to do is that i'll click on others because I'm not using Google address, I'm not it's, it's not gmail.com and it's not yahoo.com. So I'm using my own server. So and that's bistatech.com is not listed here. So I'll click on others because it should be among others because it's not listed here. So I'll click on others. Do you understand? Add your email address. So I'll just have to click here and paste it. So this is the email address goodness at bistatech.com. So I'll just click on next. Then they will ask you a question goodness at what type of account is this? Is this a personal POP3 or personal I 
IMAP. So you are going to use personal IMAP. I will tell you the meaning of this personal IMAP and how it works in our next tutorial. But just click on this personal IMAP. So you click on it, then they will now tell you to put your password. So you now go back to your notepad where you posted where you pasted the the this thing. The so you just go there and copy the password. So once you copy the password, you come back here and paste the password. So once you paste the password, you click on next. So they will ask you whether the server is bistartech.com. You say yes because that is your uh, domain name, that is your website name, and the username is goodness at bistartech.com and the password and the server. You understand? So you just confirm it, then you click on next. So once you click on next, you allow it to to load. You understand? You click on next again for it to validate. You understand? You click on next. So you can now choose your name. You can write, let me say, goodness. If it is support, support at your company, you can write support here. But since the guest name is goodness, so I will just use goodness. This name, uh, this name is the name that will be displaying on top. So you just have to click next again. So the email has already been logged in. So now, if you check your email account, you're going to see a uh, goodness you understand if you check your email app you're going to uh, uh, if you go to your email app and go to uh, your menu you will see uh, goodness at bistartech.com so just use that same method and log in your web mail just use that same method and log in your web mail and i believe it's going to work for you please if this video was useful to you please just subscribe to my youtube channel that is the only way you can support me or if you have any question i'll drop my contact so that you can uh, text me on whatsapp and ask me any question that you want to ask me thanks see you in the next class